Well, Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to another edition of our weekly high five. And uh, we're going to talk today about a very uh, pertinent topic because as today is January the 2nd, I know a lot of you have set your New Year's resolutions for 2018 to make it the best year ever. And I want to talk to you a little bit about New Year's resolutions. You know, I've always uh, not liked to use the word New Year's resolution because most people don't keep resolutions. You know, some of you may have made New Year's resolutions you've already broken and it's only one day in, but I read a report that Two weeks into the new year, about 90% of all year, New Year's resolutions that were made have already been broken. So I think that's kind of a trend that you know people just kind of expect. We all enter the new year and we say, you know, I'm going to do better. I'm going to be more. I'm going to you know not make the same mistakes I made in 2017. I'm going to make some changes. Uh, they're going to have a big impact on my business, my life, my health. And then a week or two into the new year, we kind of settle back into the same routine. And as we know, if you keep doing the same thing you've always done, you keep getting the same thing you've always got. And so I want to talk to you about a New Year commitment. Not a New Year's resolution, but a New Year's commitment. And part of that commitment is doing the thing you said you would do long after the mood you set it in is over. And uh, again, it's easy when the ball drops in New York and everyone's excited and you know clinking champagne glasses and saying Happy New Year to say, this is what I'm going to do. Because you're in the mood, you're feeling it, you're excited. But then January 8th, January 20th, February 2nd, are you still going to feel like that? And commitment is doing the thing you said you would do long after the mood you set it in is over. And part of commitment is goal setting. It's knowing how to set proper goals and goals that you're going to stick with into the new year. And, you know, this goal setting technique can work in anything that you do, not just your legal shield business, but your health and other areas of your life as well. So we want to talk about setting SMART goals in 2018. And SMART is an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic with a timetable attached to them. So let's talk about setting SMART goals this year. Number one, specific. You know, a good goal is very specific. So if your goal is to be in performance club, that's specific. If your goal is to lose 10 pounds, that's specific. If your goal is to uh, make two exposures a day to your business, that's specific. So you want it to be very specific. You know, I hear a lot of times people will say, oh man, this is going to be a great year. I'm going to hit it hard this year. I'm going to explode my business this year. Well, that all sounds good, but it's not specific. It's also not measurable, which is number two. It's got to be specific, but it's also got to be measurable. If you say you're going to do two exposures a day to your business, that's measurable. You either did two exposures or you didn't do two exposures. If you say that you're going to be in performance club this month, that's measurable. If you say that you're going to lose 10 pounds this month, that's measurable. If you say you're going to work out five times a week, that's measurable. If you say that you're going to you know, stay away from you know, fatty foods and you can measure how many you know, uh, fat grams you had every day, but it's measurable. So it's specific and it's measurable. Now, you also want to make sure that it's attainable and realistic. You know, for example, uh, if you just got started in your legal shield business, it's probably not attainable or realistic for you to say, I'm going to go platinum world uh, this month through building an organization. However, it is attainable to say, I'm going to level up to the next level. You know, for some of you, it's attainable and realistic to say that I'm going to go executive director this month, that I'm going to go senior director this month, that I'm going to be in performance club this month. You know, you probably don't want to set a goal of losing 100 pounds uh, this month. But you could say, hey, I'm going to lose two pounds a week. You know, it's attainable. It's realistic because you want to set yourself up for success. See, a goal should stretch you, but it should also be attainable. It should be realistic because if you're always constantly failing at reaching your goal, one of two things are happening. Either you're just setting totally unrealistic and unattainable goals, or you're not doing the necessary things that you need to do to reach those goals you know, every single month, every single week. So make sure that they're attainable and realistic. They also have to have a timetable attached to them. You know, say I'm going to do two exposures every day. I'm going to hit performance club this month. I'm going to lose 10 pounds this month. I'm going to eat better and control my calorie intake this week. You know, whatever it is, you want to make sure that it has a timetable so you know what you're measuring. So make sure your goals fall under the SMART acronym. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, with a timetable attached to them. Now, I just want to conclude talking about goal setting with one other thing, and that is 
So many times people are afraid to set goals because they're afraid of failure. They're afraid, what if I put myself out there and I set this big goal for myself and then I don't reach it? Well, it's kind of like going on a long trip. You know, what's the first thing you do when you get in your car when you go on a long trip? You usually set your GPS to find out where you're going. Could you imagine just getting in your car and just driving and driving and saying, hey, eventually I'll get there. It's never going to happen. You're never going to get there. You have to take the risk. You have to put it out there and say, this is what I'm going to accomplish. Share it with other people so that you're even more prone. Get a workout partner so that you can keep each other accountable. But if you don't take the risk and set that goal out there, you're never going to achieve it. The other thing is, don't be afraid to think big. Sometimes we've set goals in the past and we haven't hit those goals. And so we start bringing it back and bringing it back and bringing it back. But you have to look, was the goal really unrealistic? Was the goal really unattainable? Or was it just that I just didn't do the things necessary to hit that goal? Don't be afraid to put yourself back out there. Set that big goal again for 2018, for January, for this week, for today. And make sure that you're out there every single day working towards accomplishing those SMART goals. If you do that, this will be the best year you've ever had.